thanks so much. There's a search in Haiti right now for a nurse from Middleton, New Hampshire, and her daughter who were reportedly kidnapped. Alex Dorsanville was in the country working for a relief organization when she was taken. Her disappearance happened the same day the State Department began evacuating embassy staff and warning Americans to stay out of the country amid growing unrest there. Kristen Dahlgren has the details. The American Alex Dorsonville and her young daughter Haven remain missing after reportedly being kidnapped near Haiti's capital, where she has lived for at least three years, according to the nonprofit El Roy. My name is Alex. I'm a nurse from New Hampshire, but now I live in Haiti. The 31-year-old nurse works for the faith-based organization that has a school and ministry in Haiti and is married to the organization's founder, Sandra Dorsonville. Sandro invited me to come to the school to do some nursing for some of the kids. He said that was a big need that they had. Elroy says Alex and her child were taken from their campus on Thursday, writing in a statement, we continue to work with our partners and trusted relationships to secure their safe return. Details of how they were abducted remain unclear. Alex was very compassionate and cared very much for people who had great need. Alex attended Regis College in Massachusetts, whose president is not surprised her former student chose a path of service. She was definitely um, a very special young woman. The same day the mother and daughter were taken, the U.S. State Department issued its highest level travel advisory for Haiti, warning Americans not to visit, citing crime and civil unrest, adding kidnapping is widespread and victims regularly include U.S. citizens. The State Department also recalling non-emergency personnel from Haiti's U.S. Embassy. We have very deep concern for the situation there. The United Nations estimates armed gangs control 80 percent of the nation's cities. El Roy says they are in close communication with Alex's family and are working hard to get them home. That was NBC's Kristen Dahlgren reporting. As we mentioned, Alex Dorsonville is from Middleton, New Hampshire. It's actually right across the border from the main town of Acton.